financial warfare is one of my specialties. I worked with the Pentagon. I facilitated the first ever financial war game in 2009. I worked with the intelligence community, talked to the Treasury. So I, I do a lot in the area of financial warfare. Finances and money have always been some part of warfare. But what's new, Dr. Paul, is that finance can now be a very effective weapon by itself. You don't need to combine finance and kinetic warfare, you know, bombs or missiles. You can just use finance as a weapon. We're doing it against Iran right now. We're doing it against North Korea right now. And it all hinges on the dollar, which a dollar is 60% of global reserves, 80% of global payments, and almost 100% of the uh, energy market. So if you cut off someone's access to dollars, it's like turning off the oxygen supply to a, a patient in intensive care. I mean, you know what's going to happen next. Um, so, but we've been throwing our weight around we've weaponized these things and whether it's you know CFIUS, you're preventing foreign acquisitions of u.s companies um tariffs uh sanctions freezing accounts seizing accounts uh we're doing it all through the dollar and the dollar payment system well do you think and this is your question i'm asking this rhetorically is the rest of the world just going to sit there and be in effect bullied by the united states no they're going to look for a way out now it's not easy there's no other currency certainly not the russian ruble or the chinese yuan or even the euro that's ready to step in and replace the dollar as the global reserve currency but what about something completely new and this is in the works china and russia have separately more than tripled their gold reserves in the last 10 years. China, Russia's gone from 600 tons to almost 2,300 tons. China's gone from 600 tons to almost 2,000 tons. That we know of. They may have a lot more that, that we don't know of. Um, and so, so why are they doing that? Are they stupid or do they see something most people don't? Well, I guarantee you they're not stupid. I've spent time and a lot of time in Russia and China. They're not stupid. They're getting ready for a new global monetary system. Now, what they're developing and I know a lot of people hate cryptocurrencies, and I'm, I'm one of them, but they're developing uh, a, a new cryptocurrency on what's called a permissioned blockchain. The so blockchain is the foundation technology of cryptocurrency. But permissioned, what that means is that you can only use it if they say so. So it's like a club. It's like getting admitted to a club. So now all of a sudden you have this new uh, crypto token called a Putin coin or Xi coin, you anchor it to something. Could be the the IMF's SDR, the special drawing right. Could be a weight of gold. Uh, you anchor it to something, so we all know what it's worth. And now you create a trading network. So who's in the network? Russia, China, Iran, Turkey, North Korea, and maybe you invite in some of the BRICS: uh, Brazil, India, etc. So now you have a world where, you know, it, uh, Iran sells oil to China. China sells infrastructure to Russia. Russia sells natural gas to China. North Korea sells weapons to Iran. Everybody takes a vacation in Turkey. You have this trading network uh, where everyone's paying with these, uh, this is called the Putin coin. Uh, but that's just a way of keeping score. Uh -huh. And then per periodically, uh, every six months or a year, you settle up in gold. But when you settle the gold on a net basis, you need far less gold than you do on a gross basis right. you're not paying for everything so this this is in the works this isn't you know uh 21st century science fiction everything i just described is factual and in the works now what's missing from that system the dollar there's no so all of a sudden u.s dollar sanctions don't work because the participants are not using the dollar they've got their own encryption their own way of keeping score with the cryptocurrency settling up in gold moving the message traffic through secure you know, uh, internet that's not part of the global internet. This is coming.